Hello everyone, my name is Luna Moonbo and welcome back to Crossroads SMP, where in our last episode we worked on this absolutely gorgeous mushroom cottage here and between episodes I have been very, very busy. I haven't been feeling that great recently but I have had some time here on the server and I have done a bit of decorating. Hello dude, we'll get to why you're here very soon but yes I have been decorating the interior here. I really like the colour contrast I've got going on here between the blues and the greys we have here contrasted with the reds and the greens that we have here. I've gone for a really like traditional old cottage kit in. I've now learned how to use a loom and I'm slightly obsessed with it but I love this little cozy room with Mr Pickles up there. Oh, it's looking absolutely gorgeous and also down here I've been very busy creating myself a storage room and here we are. I absolutely love it in here. I have set myself up another portal and I have done my best to make it seem like the overgrowth of the nether portal is leaking into my very nature vibed storage room. I've never seen a storage room like this and I really wanted to kind of bring the same vibe that I had going on outside and upstairs with the mushroom cottage down here into our storage room. We even managed to make a little mini super smelter here. I mean it doesn't work like super fast but I'm super proud of it because <laughs> I don't know how to do any kind of redstone so this is a big deal for me. So this is kind of the place where I hang out the most because I've got my nether portal and all of my resources in here and then through here I've started with a villager breeder because I need to get that villager thing going and I've started making a villager trading hall but we've all seen those being built before and they are hella boring so this is something that I'm going to continue doing on stream. I know I've just said it's hella boring but please come and chat with me while I do it. So hopefully we will get everything finished in here by the next episode of Crossroads. And I'm planning on putting like a little axolotl tank with some, well, I can't put fish in here because otherwise they will meet their demise. It'll just have to be axolotls. Maybe we can get some frogs. 119 is coming, by the way. But I plan on having this be like a little water feature running through here. So yeah, this is unfinished, but it's what I've been working on in the background where I've not been feeling too great between recording episodes. Which leads us nicely onto the things that we need to get done today, but I have been left many, many gifts on this server. These people are so kind, so let's see what I've been given. I put the call out for needing some blaze rods and some nether warts and Kyle. <laughs> love him so much over delivered. Took him an extra day so he gave me 20 diamonds as a diamond late fee. Kyle, you absolute silly goose. You are very, very generous. Thank you so much. <laughs> and our neighbour who lives all the way over here on the flower forest, Garden Bunny, has left us some friends. I bought you some company for your crops. So this lovely dude is going to go in our farmland. Hello, we need a name for you. Please leave a name for Garden Dude in the comments. And you will sit among our crop fields very, very soon. And your friend is guarding the inside of my house. Hopefully he um, deters intruders. Not that I'm expecting any intruders, but you never know when pillagers might be around. But in today's episode, I have got a lot planned, probably way too much planned. Let's see how much we actually get done. But I'm going to build a bee farm and set up our very first shop on Crossroads. So let's fly over to the shopping district. It's just as easy to fly as it is to go through the nether because we're actually so close. And I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna put my shop and some other really cool shops we've had pop up over the past couple of weeks. So here we are in the shopping district. And as you can see, more and more shops have been popping up all over the place. We have our beautiful town hall here. here. Um, we still have some magic going on. I'm, I'm, I'm just not going to ask or even interfere, but we have this beautiful, utterly beautiful dye shop that FC has made. Oh, it's, it's just gorgeous. I'm in love with this build. But we also have, as it is almost Pride Month, this beautiful, beautiful stand made by Yara. So thank you very much. And we are going to take a couple of flags that help represent ourselves. So I'm going to take two buy flags and two pride flags. Now what feels slightly odd about this is this isn't really a coming out for me because I've been bi for a very long time, but I've realized we're doing pride on here. I'm gonna be displaying my buy flags. So yes, hello, my name is Luna Moonbo and I'm bi. And we're gonna display these lovingly in our base and also probably in our shop too. And I have been thinking about a place that I'm going to put our shop which is gonna be called the honey tree. And over here, we have this absolutely gorgeous little shack that Short Range has made, the Leaky Hovel. Oh, I love it in here. This is where you can get all the moss. Like, and I, I, I like moss, just all things moss. It's beautiful. So this is where we get all things moss in here. And I was thinking about putting our honey tree shop 
just behind here and I've marked it out and that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be building our honey tree shop and our bee farm. So let's go back to our base and get on with our bee farm. So now we are back home. We can place our banners. They're going to have two here. Oh, I love them. And two down here in our storage room as well. Flags beautifully displayed. And now we need to get on and think about our bee farm. So, so far I've had this very <laughs> manual, although still quite efficient, hi bees, farm going on here that I've just been manually getting the honeycomb from. But there is more of a need for honey and honey related products on the server now. So I need to get a bee farm going. So I've been considering about where I'm going to put it. But I think I'm going to make a beautiful beekeeper's hut with a bee farm in it. And I think I'm going to place it in this area just here. The first things first, I need to clear all this out. Many hours later, in fact, a whole day later, I have cleared out this area and I have a successfully working honeycomb farm and honey farm. There were no creepers involved. No tears. <laughs> I did not lose bees. I did not have to rebreed them. Oh my goodness. No, none of that happened. I'm not traumatized at all. But this is working really well. I've been doing a little bit of AFKing here this morning. And yes, we've got the honeycomb in here. And then this one is producing all of the honey and the honey bottles, which I can then convert into honey blocks. So to build these farms, I went to the one and only Minecraft daddy, which is Pixel Riffs. I probably shouldn't have called him a Minecraft daddy, but it's done now. But anyway, his survival guide is absolutely amazing. And I was able to follow what he did in one of his episodes. I will leave the link in the description below to create this little simple bee farm here and then how to work out to get the honey bottles as well, because if you use this design for honey bottles, you just end up with honey bottles everywhere. So it involved a little bit more complex redstone with comparators, which detect how much the hives change. So when the bees pop in and out, it's not always throwing out a bottle, which when the bees pop in and out of this one, it always tries to shear it. But if there's no honeycomb in it, that doesn't matter. So yeah, this one uses a comparator to observe what's happening, but delay the bottles being released. Pixel Rifts can explain it much better. So go and watch his video. But I'm very, very proud of this. But as you can see, it's very ugly. So I have been collecting lots of resources here and we are going to build a beautiful beekeeper's house to cover this very productive but ugly farm. So let's hit the time lapse. Keeper's house is all complete and looking really, really lovely. Oh, goodbye, bees. <laughs> so, on the outside here, I have added some beehives. I've got them dripping down some, hello, bee, some honey here. And I've just popped a few of them out here. And this is to give it a vibe as if it is an actual beekeeper's house. And I have been wondering why I've been building this. Why do we not have a beekeeper villager? I'm sure there's a reason, but I think that would be really, really cool to have a little beekeeper villager that used to go around and tend to the hives. Be a really nice touch added here. So yeah, I'm going to show you some of the blocks I used because one of the blocks I chose for this roof was pretty crazy. Can I land? Yes, I can. <laughs> so here you might recognize this block. It's um, raw gold. I had to go out to a mesa and to a gold mine and collect so much gold for this build, but I think it just adds a little extra shiny texture here. I did try making it all out of honeycomb and moss in my test world. It wasn't textured enough. So I wanted to add some other blocks in here as well. So I added the yellow terracotta, bit of orange concrete powder because it goes nicely with the honeycomb. And I wanted to keep the same overgrown vibe with the moss and the flowers on top of the roof here. Added some azalea leaves. So yeah, I'm really happy with how this build has turned out. And it also hides our bee farm on the inside. I added these redstone lamps because I didn't want you to be able to see on the inside what is going on. And then in here we have our bee farm, which the honeycomb side, yes, is working relatively well. But the honey side, <laughs> this is this is really slow. 
So between building all of this, getting everything set up, editing my recordings, going to have dinner, AFKing, it's been about eight hours. And that's all I've got of the honey. One stack. One stack to sell. So I think between episodes, I'm going to need to expand this farm. I could go up a little bit. I could go down to make it a little bit more efficient. <laughs> there was me boasting <laughs> just before I started placing all these blocks that actually it was pretty efficient. What do I know? <laughs> what do I know? So whoop, I'm going to have to expand that over time, but I'm really liking how this has turned out. I think it fits in really nicely and it means that we can move on to our next task very soon, which is making our shop. So with our first project all complete for today, it's time to turn our attention to some other things that we can get on with today. And before we go and build our shop, there's something else that I would like to do. That's what would you say if it was you? It's not me, Jam Dogger. <laughs> it's not me. Someone is in his base with their light to run on invisible and I have proof right here in my recording. It's not me. <laughs> but anyway, moving on. This is wonderful, Apollo. First of all, I want to change up your armor because I have some other fancy armor for you oh my goodness don't you look yes don't you look so so fancy here so in our last episode i said that we needed to go and get a friend for apollo and i would need a name for our friend and that is what we're gonna go and do apollo yes we're gonna go and get you a friend would you like a carrot yes you would like a carrot <laughs> just maybe not so close in my face yes so we're going to go and find you a friend and we're going to see if we can pop you over in our stables over here in the mushroom cottage. Don't turn your back on me, are you cross? I promise I'll go and find you a friend. So that's the next thing that we're going to go and do. We're going to go and see if we can find Apollo a friend. So we have two horses over this side. Now I think I'm going to go over here because I believe there were a few more horses over here. And we're going to see if we can go and find Apollo a friend. Ah, hello. You're not too far away, although do you belong to Amber? I don't think they do, but maybe if you don't tell Amber, I won't either. <laughs> also, your lovely little grey coat matches my grey dress, so I quite like you. Should we see if you want to be my friend? First of all, I need to have a clear hand, because horses are very fussy. Oh my goodness, there is a big drop down here. Are you already tame? Oh no, does this mean... <gasps> oh no, do you belong to someone? Oh no... I don't think I can keep you. Okay, so maybe we'll have to we'll have to move on. Yes. Please don't take me in the hole. Oh my goodness. How how have you not died down here yet? Hello. I think we need to save you. Goodness. Right. I'm on a mission. I'm going to save you. Have you been tamed? You have also been tamed. But you have been locked in this dungeon. Is is Amber cross with you? Have you done something wrong? I'm on a mission to save you, horse. This is going to require some brain power. I feel my brain power failing already. Look, I'm trying to save you from the hole. I don't know what punishment you had, but I don't believe you deserved it. Oh, goodness me. This is why people don't work with animals, isn't it? Oh, can you not get through a one wide hole? Well, horses are high maintenance. Yeah, there we go. Right, now I need to cover this hole back up. There we go. No one will ever know. Well, I don't think I can keep you because you've already been tamed, but let's not tell anyone that whatever punishment you were set in there for, I forgive you. You can have a carrot. As much as I would love to keep this horse, I think they belong to Amber. So I'll have to go this way and see if I can find any more. Horsey, have I tamed you already? Oh, you are not tame. Hello, my friend. Oh, apparently I'll just hit you with a spade. I'm sorry. Do you want to be Apollo's friend? You have good hearts. Oh, no. Oh, please love me. <gasps> you love me. Okay, now let's see how fast you are. Oh, you're not too bad, actually. Not too bad. Not as quick as Apollo, but that's okay. And our forest is just over here. Awesome. Right, let's take you back. And I'm going to put on some fancy armor for you. Oh, look at you. Now we have a friend for Apollo. Yes, <laughs> we do. Look, Apollo, I have a friend for you. Oh, no, you look very similar. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to name you both. So, Apollo, I would like you to meet... And this was the most popular name down in the comments. This is Artemis. Yes, look, she's trying to give you a cuddle already. You look very similar. Maybe you're twins. <laughs> so now I need to go and get some name tags. Yes, you're very close inside my head here. Thank you. Thank you. That's that's awesome. And then we're going to go move them over to the stables. And I'm going to need to quickly work out how to spell Artemis. And hope that I'm saying it right too. I don't like having dyslexia. Apollo. 
and I definitely didn't look up how to spell this. Artemis. I really hope I spelled that correctly. And if I'm saying it wrong, please spell it phonetically for me down in the comments. Because <laughs> that's the only way I'm going to learn. It is time for your official naming ceremony. So you're... Hang on, you have the spots on you. You're definitely Artemis. And which one do I have in my hand? Apollo. So hello, Apollo. And hello, Artemis. Look at you both. I mean, one of you show me your butt. Yeah, turn around. Thank you very much. Thank you. This is a very special day. Right, so now I'm going to move you both over into your little stables. And there we go. So I'm hoping to get some roads built for you two. And then maybe we can get up to, to some shenanigans with you both at some point. I'm going to have a think about what we can do. Apparently there might be a pun war going on. Maybe we could take part. Maybe we could profit. But either way... I'm very happy to have these two friends here now. So we've got a lot done so far. We have our horses, we have our bee farm and our beekeeper's house. But the next thing we need to do is to think about building our shop. Now I've spent a very long time in creative building my first ever custom tree. And I had to collect 500 odd leaves for this project. And you will not believe, I've literally just watched FC Dad's video and he has a leaf shop. I'm not sure when it opened, but I collected all those leaves by myself. Slightly frustrating, but never mind. So I'm going to pack all of this up and going to go over to the shopping district. And then you might get your second time lapse of an episode. So we have made it here to the shopping district. I have got all of my resources with me. I'm going to have a bit of a think about I might need to terraform this hill a little bit. But you're going to get your second time lapse of this episode as I'm going to build my very first custom tree. here we are my beautiful beautiful honey tree ow that was smooth but anyway here is the wonderful tree i'm really proud of this tree this is my first custom tree i know i still have lots of improvements to make in like how i did the trunk and things i still wasn't quite happy about that but overall i'm really proud of my first attempt and this might be one of my favorite builds so far <laughs> I didn't know if I'd enjoy building trees, but apparently I do. So this is the honey tree and it's going to be my shop. I've got some beehives here. I mean, I might need to get rid of some of these bees. Hello. I don't know if they're going to cause lag, but um, I didn't want to make them angry. I've had enough of angry bees over this episode, so um, others can kill them at their, their own demise. But I really wanted to add these hives here with the honey dripping down. Why does honey make the most satisfying and disgusting sound in Minecraft? I just, I don't know. I can't explain it. I'm sure you all know what I mean. <laughs> But I think it just adds a really lovely element to this build. And then all of my products are going to be going in the barrels here. So we're going to be selling candles and honeycomb. Not the honeycomb blocks because I think they're pretty useless to be honest. So just the honey blocks, candles and honeycomb. And I do still need to do a bit more landscaping of this area. Which I'm going to do on stream this week as well. And I do need to just go and get one other finishing touch for this build too. I have one here. And one here there we go i think that's nice and you can see them face on <laughs> oh it's lovely i really really like this so yeah i am super super proud of this build it's been a really really long episode and we've got up to a lot today but that's all we've got time for for today's episode thank you so much for watching let me know what you think of our new builds let me know what you think of our very first custom tree i hope you've enjoyed today's episode and i'll see you in the next one see ya <laughs>